What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be coming to you from the house of Yves St. Laurent and we're going to be doing why Eau de Parfum or EDP. So this fragrance was actually launched last year in 2018 classification, probably more of a citrusy aromatic of some kind because I only have a sample, one that I pretty much finished almost. Let's see a picture as to what the bottle looks like and then let's dive into this one. So the top notes of this fragrance are bergamot, ginger, and apple with the mid being sage, geranium, and juniper berries with the base being vetiver, amberwoods, cedar, and holy band. What do I get out of this set? I get tons of citruses and a ton of apple. This is a very fruity type of scent which really does add quite a bit of sweetness to it. But it's also quite herbal with the sage. This in a sense kind of has like a really upscale body wash type of Feel. It's very clean, it's incredibly fresh, it has that herbal touch to it, and it's quite fruity. In some ways, it does remind me of a very high quality body wash that smells very good, but it does smell like other fragrances out there. This is the flanker to the original Y that came out a couple years ago. This one is fresher, but also a lot bolder, if you will. It, has, it definitely has a lot of more body and a lot of more oomph. Occasions, day-to-day -day casual, school, going out, it's a pretty versatile fragrance. The only time that I probably would not wear this is to a very formal event where it's like very tuxedo-ish or a very important function where you have to dress up in a suit and tie, but I would say more of a semi-formal. Longevity on this was seven to eight hours and projection was moderate. Seasons, spring, all the way to fall. In the summertime, I would mind my applications because this is thicker, bolder, and it does have a lot more oomph than the original. The original is just a little bit lighter, so I would say that one is more so for the summertime, but you can wear this one, just mind your applications. So prices for this fragrance, retail, this is not online just yet, but in due time, it will be. But here at the Bay, you're looking at to spend about 112 to 145 Canadian. So just like every other video, I asked my wife her thoughts. So when I did ask her, we were sitting on the couch just watching television one night after my shift. And I asked her thoughts. In the opening, in the beginning, she really wasn't sure. There was a sharp sweetness there that kind of like made her not too sure. But a couple hours into the, uh, the dry down, she told me she did not like it. It really did kind of put her off, which I was very surprised because she does like the original and she does like fragrances like this, but perhaps it was just my skin. And my final thoughts on this one, I do like it, but I don't love it. It kind of reminds me of other fragrances out there. Versace Dylan Blue, uh, Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage. It has certain aspects to it. It's not original. The company is looking to make money and they're gonna do pretty good with this one. It is mainstream, it is very mass appealing, it will sell quite a bit. So this company is gonna earn a nice little profit off this itself. But I personally do not want it. I don't care for, for Dior Sauvage. Not a bad fragrance, but it's just not something for me. But if you want a compliment getter, if you're a young guy who, who wants to impress the ladies, this will definitely impress the ladies. But I'm married, I'm settled down, a little bit older in life, I'm not really looking for that. Do I personally like it? The answer is yes, but I don't love it as I state. And a rating out of five is gonna be a three and a half out of five. The reason why it gets a better rating than let's say a three is because the versatility is great. It's mass appealing. The longevity is very good. This is gonna get you noticed. But for me, you know, it's just been there, done that. And I'm a little old school, so I'm settled down, I guess, in my old age. So guys, that's it for YSL, Eve saying that I, why, or the bad friend. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. We thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later.